Hey everyone, Miss Erin here at the San Diego Children's Discovery Museum in Escondido, California, where we spark a love of learning so all children can discover their wildest dreams. And today, we're learning about the sun and how it keeps different types of animals warm. Take it away, Miss Erin the Scientist. Thanks, Miss Erin. Now, there are two types of animals when it comes to energy. Endotherms and ectotherms. Now, here's a little ditty that helps me remember them. Ready? Endotherms have internal energy and ectotherms have external energy. Try it with me. Ready? Endotherms have internal energy and ectotherms have external energy. Nice job! But what's endotherm and ectotherm? Let me teach ya. A first category of animal are endotherms. Now, endotherms have internal regulation, meaning that they keep their energy from the heat inside their body. These are called warm-blooded animals. Now, some types of animals that are endotherms are birds and mammals, like my puppy here and you and me. Ectotherms, on the other hand, get their energy from an external source, aka the sun. Now, these guys are normally cold inside. That's why they're called cold-blooded animals. They need the sunlight to stay warm. And different types of ectotherms are fish, invertebrates, amphibians, and reptiles, like ecto here. Isn't that right, ecto? That's right. Remember, endotherms have internal energy, and ectotherms have external energy. Wow, Miss Erin the Scientist, that was pretty neat. Let's play a game. Have you played the game Freeze Dance before? Well, this is like freeze dance, except for with endotherms and ectotherms. If you hear me say, endotherm, and see my doggy dancing, go ahead and start dancing, because you make your own energy. But if you hear me say, ectotherm, and see my snake, ooh, you need to freeze, because snakes and ectotherms need sunlight for their energy. <gasps> Are you ready to play? Get your dancing groove on and let's go. Endotherm, go ahead and dance. Ectotherm, freeze. Endotherm, go ahead and dance. Ectotherm, freeze. Ectotherm, dance! Ectotherm, freeze! <laughs> what a fun way to learn about how different animals need sunlight for energy. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe below. And for more museum fun, check us out on our social media and our website. Well, until next time, I'm Miss Erin, and I'll see you later. Bye.